I came across this article today, and apparently there's a big debate about the the proposed standard comic script. I didn't even know people were talking about this, but apparently, according to this article that I saw, this is a big debate. It's got everybody going back and forth. And I went and I, I found the source of this. So the two people that are proposing this standard script are Camilla Zhang, who you probably recognize from Kickstarter infamy, and Steen Stewart, who you definitely don't recognize because they've never done anything noteworthy within the comic book industry. But they want to control how comic book scripting is done and the creative process that goes into it. In and of itself, like on the surface, should there be a standard script within comic books? You could definitely debate it. There are pros and cons or whatever. But should Camilla Zhang and Steen Stewart be in charge of that or have any participatory level of engagement within that act? I would say no. Apparently, the two of them are unable to write a creative story without a standardized script. Like, there's no standard script here. How am I supposed to do a story? It just screams ineptitude. But really, the underlying thing about this is control. And one of the reasons that you know that is because Camilla Zhang is a part of it. What did Camilla Zhang do while she was at Kickstarter? She decided she was going to be the ultimate gatekeeper. She was going to decide who and who could not crowdfund their projects within Kickstarter. If you didn't meet her moral guidelines and principles, you were not allowed. Of course, that didn't really work out. She ended up being part of that uh, union vote and was summarily let go. Then she ended up really, really fucking over Scott Snyder, like really bad. She was supposed to help him out with his his uh, first crowdfunding project, and I guess she just noped out at one point. <laughs> Is that really who the comic industry wants? Controlling the creative process and how scripting is done within the industry. I think I, I got a I got a bunch of stuff I gotta get through because they they both sound pretty what the, I'm gonna I'll say it. They both sound pretty stupid. But there's really there are points when they get into the underlying stuff that they want to do, the control aspects of it. We're gonna get into that. Let's get right into this this article and explanation of why Steen Stewart and Camilla Zhang should be in charge of scripting within the comic book industry. When Steen Stewart lost their job at Lion Forge in 2019, they went through a lot of pitches. Taking on freelance editorial work meant reading many scripts, and they quickly came to a realization when it came to the way they were formatted. Every single script was different, Stewart explains. I thought, this is exhausting because I'm spending more time trying to understand the script first, and then I can get into the actual story editorial. It led to a single vital question, why is it like this? Well, there are many reasons there is not a standardized scripting format. For a long time, you know, DC and Marvel created comics completely different. There was the Marvel way. It was the process that Stanley and Jack Kirby perfected in the early days when they just didn't have enough writers out there. So Stanley would do a general outline. Jack Kirby would illustrate the damn thing. And then Stanley would come up with the script and everything. And it worked very well for Marvel Comics. DC had their own way. But the primary reason that it's not standardized today is because you have a lot of creative pairings. That's one of the things that happens in comic books that doesn't happen in novels, in some of the other mediums, is that there is a collaborative process between the writer and the artist. And some artists want different levels of support. Some writers want different levels of input into the story making. So as they work together, they find their sweet spot and they find their collaborative creative process. Of course, that is too much for Steen Stewart to handle. I wonder why they couldn't keep their job as an editor at Lion Forge. It was just all well, these script formats. It's just too much to take. I can't even get into the story because there's a comma where there was supposed to be a colon. That question quickly coalesced with another thing that Stewart had long been thinking about. I've always had this idea that comics really need to be legitimized through standardization. And back when I was working in comic shops and whatnot, I realized that there's no standardization at all in any area they share. If there are comic shops out there paying their employees in store credit, then it's not standardization. If there are comic artists and none of them use the same script, that's not standardization. So how are we going to get further and better and stronger without those standardizations? A great first place to start, Stuart thought, would be with a standard comic script. Stewart realized that creating a script template could be a way to make a simple, streamlined, and across-the-board process for writing a script that can be used by veterans and newcomers alike. 
what the fuck does the way that comic shops are paying their employees have to do with comic strips and standardization within the comic publishing industry? They're not exactly related. Just really stupid examples. Like, there's nothing standard across comic books. Yeah, there probably isn't a whole lot of standardization across comic books. Every editor wants something different. Every writer wants to do something different. Every artist needs different levels of support. I do not believe that a lack of standardization is holding the comic book industry back. I think the thing that's really holding the comic book industry back is an overload, a supply and demand issue. Nobody's demanding shitty comic books, but there's a lot of supply of it. And that's really what's holding comic books back right now. And I would say that Camilla Zang and Steen Stewart are probably part of that problem. And no amount of standardization will ever rise up the comic book industry. Better stories would do it. Better story craft, better writers, better creators. But if we implement that, you know, Steen Stewart and Camilla Zang probably aren't going to have a place at the table. And a whole lot of creators that are in the industry right now. So it's a slippery slope. Let's just put it that way. When you start looking at the issues at the comic book industry and why it's as small as it is, they should probably look in the mirror. Today, Stuart and their collaborator, Camilla Zhang, present the script template key that they hope will be picked up by creators and publishers as a way to begin standardizing the comic making process, built with input from writers, artists, letters, and editors. The script template is a brilliant tool for those who have never written a comic before or for people who already make them and want to streamline the way they write their own scripts. But for Stuart and Zhang, it has potential to be something even bigger, a way to legitimize the industry they both love through a standardization that the century-old comics business has never really embraced. I have a feeling, just a little hunch, that old Camilla Zhang and Steen Stewart went out there and found their friends that have never been successful in comic books and decided they were going to be the ones to control how comic book scripting is done. And that's really what this is, this is all about. Make no mistake about it. Despite having no success within comic books, they want to be able to say they control comic books. They're the ones that developed the stator. They implemented the stator, and everybody had to adhere to it, despite the fact that neither of these creators have sold five cents worth of comic books in their lives. And these are two people I don't want anywhere near controlling anything in the comic book industry. If anything, they should be on their way out because they aren't successful. They're holding comic books back. Unlike Hollywood filmmaking or television, the comics industry doesn't have any creators unions or organizations like the Writers Guild of America or the Screen Actors Guild to help build standardization of rates, treatment, or process into the business. It's something that Zhang is keenly aware of. They have all these large institutions with deep histories, lots of members, with officers who get together and discuss how to move the industry forward, she tells us. There's just consolidation there. And in comics, I think it's only just the beginning. Oh, okay, now we're getting to the heart of the matter. It is about control. You remember Camille Zhang has a vested interest in unionization of, of the comic book industry. You could say unions could be good for comic books. It could stabilize rates and perhaps would get some more benefits out there. But what are some of the negative side effects of unionizing the comic book industry? Hmm, somebody maybe like a Vidai Allen who can't sell any comic books, eventually Marvel and DC are going to be like, you know, we've, we've given the, the creator 80 goes at this and they still haven't generated any money. It's probably time to move on. Well, if you have a union, you can't move on. They want to have something like the teachers union where it doesn't matter how much you fuck up. You literally can't fire the people. With these kind of debates, there's always good things, and I'm in support of good things, but there's always the bad stuff that comes with it. Do you really want a unionized profession in comic books? Can you imagine how terrible that would be? Mags Visaggio would still be writing for DC and Marvel right now. They wouldn't have been able to get rid of her. Gabby Rivera would still be writing America Chavez if they weren't allowed to fire people for ineptitude. They want control. They want to be able to get into these positions and then be literally unfucking fireable. How do they gain control? They create the standardized script. They make everyone adhere to it and then you go to the next step. What that next step is going to be, I imagine we'll see if they actually adopt this, which I doubt will actually happen. But make no mistake about it. This has nothing to do with, oh my goodness, the comic book industry is just, it's inaccessible because there's no standardized script. Without standardization, you could never be as big as the movie industry. You can never be as big as the movie industry anyway, because comic books are a niche hobby. And that's just the way it is. But they want to act like this is the gateway to get there. Absolutely ridiculous. This is the gateway to destroying comic books for good, to having dipshits that don't know what they're doing 
being in control of everything. They tried it already over at Image Comics with the unionization stuff. It doesn't really appear to have worked out all that well for them. As soon as the union members over there try to exert any type of power, they will be fired. This is another avenue for incompetent people that want to never be able to be fired, that want to be able to go into an industry and control it forever. I can see this stuff from a mile away. The pair hopes that the script can be a stepping stone to bigger and better change in the industry. I'm hoping that people see that there are people out there who want to make this industry better, Stewart says, and you can do it just by putting the time and effort into it and really just taking it slow. Everyone really wants this thing to be done today, and I get it. I'm one of those kinds of people, but we started working on this project in 2020. There's a reason why this sort of thing takes time. If you want it done right, you don't rush it, and you wait till people have the time to actually get their 100% focus into it. That's how you get positive change. The way you get positive change is you trim the fat in the comic book industry. You raise the bar as far as quality in the comic book industry. That will never change as long as people like Camilla Zhang and Steen Stewart have any say in the process of how comic books are made. Sure, they can make their own comic books. They can go, go crowdfund them. Sure, they can go work at Humanoid. Well, maybe not Steen Stewart. She was already fired by you know Lion Forge or whatever. But there are avenues for them to get what they want. But that's not big enough. That's not enough control. Camilla Zhang already had some control and absolutely abused it. Now she wants more control so she can abuse the industry more and reshape it so it will be in the image that she wants comic books to be. This is just another attempt at controlling comic books, fortifying their position so they can never leave. And the comic book industry will never be healthy until we get rid of all these shitty creators who have nothing to add other than their activism. That's the only thing that they bring to the table. Believe me. I have a couple of things I would like to offer you today. A while back, I talked about the success that Sean Gordon Murphy had with the plot holes in crowdfunding. At the same time was when Camilla Zane got fired because all that union and stuff. Definitely check this video if you don't remember this or you haven't checked it out already. If you're a prospective writer and you want to know about scripting and stuff like that, I do have this video that I did in our Comic Writing 101 series. If you haven't checked this out, definitely check that video out. I have an entire playlist, over 20 hours of tips on comic book writing 